Setting up and managing Google Ads admin access is actually pretty straightforward once you understand how everything works, but there's a couple of caveats, which I'll get to here in a second, about making sure you're adding people the right way so that it doesn't open you up for potentially getting your account suspended, which is a huge issue you want to avoid, of course. Um, so when you're in Google Ads, in the top right, you should see a tools and settings icon up here. When you click that, if you come down, yours might look a little bit different, but you should be able to find one that says setup. And then under that, it should say access and security. When you click on that, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. You've got three options up here. Most people don't even see these options up here. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about. Users, this is how you would add an admin user right here under users. This is for people who are within your organization. So employees, staff, things of that nature. And oftentimes it'll be on the same domain email. So if your domain is example.com, you would have your name at example.com and then somebody else who's on your team like josh at example.com. So you'd have all those emails in here and those would be seen as people who work for your company, representing your company. And any email that's actually associated with this account is essentially, if it's associated with other accounts where there's issues, it can be seen as associated with your account because they're an employee of yours. And if they're doing shady stuff in other accounts as well as in your account, Google might think that that individual person is doing shady stuff and could suspend all of the accounts. So be really careful uh, as far as who you add as a user in here. If you're adding someone who's not inside your organization, like an agency that wants to take over your Google ads and help you manage them, like what we do for our clients, that would actually be done through managers and you would need to give them your Google Ads ID number and then they'll request access to your account and you go into this manager section to approve it. I've, I've created other videos of that. I'll leave a link down below if you want to see how that works. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up admin access. So from here, all we would do is click the plus sign. So assuming that this person works in our organization, after we click that plus sign, we'll see a page that looks like this. And it's pretty straightforward. You just pop the email address in of the person who you want to add to your account. And then you click admin role right here and you can see all the permissions that it'll give to them. So basically they'll have full control over the account at that point. Um, they'll be able to edit users, managers, add product links, um, see everything, make changes, whatever. So you just put their email in here, click admin, send invitation, and then they've been invited to uh, access your Google Ads account from there. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Just make sure that um, you add them in the right place. So if you're adding an internal user, you add them here. The last thing I'll say is if it's not letting you add an admin because their, their uh, domain isn't recognized, you'll need to come over to the security settings over here and actually add a domain name in. You can see I've got Gmail in this account. So you can add Gmail um, if you know the, the owner of the account just uses a Gmail account or whatever the domain name is. But this is where you'll add the allowed domains, which can sometimes restrict you being able to add an admin user. So I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Google Ads admin access, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you